Okay, you two, we got a package in today. This comes from Mr. Adam from, I want to say, MS, is it Mississippi? Uh, I think Mississippi? It's rather heavy. Rather heavy. So, let's dive on in and uh, see what we got here. He did hit me up and say, hey, uh, do you have a list of the N64 games you are still needing to complete your collection? So I sent him a list and uh, we're about to find out what he sent. <clears throat> All right. There we go. Set that right here. Everything nice and tightly packed with some nice bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap. <laughs> love getting it in the mail. Okay. Wow. Wow. Whoa. This box is packed to the brim full of N64 games. Now this wasn't a trade. He said what games are you needing? Well, here we go. We got Virtual Chess 64. And I see a lot of these already have end labels on them. <clears throat> these don't match the ones that I have, so I'll have to peel those off and put my own on there, but that's fine. All right, we got Tigger's Honey Hunt. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Wetrix. All-Star Baseball 2001. Arrow Fighters Assault. <laughs> so many games in this box. Rally Challenge 2000. Bottom of the ninth. Off-road challenge. Got a piece of evidence. Piece of evidence tape on the back of it. <laughs> That's crazy. <clears throat> uh, Olympic hockey '98. Wow, there's a good one. There's a good one. And it's got a Blockbuster video stickers on it too. All-Star Tennis 99. That's kind of an uncommon game there. All right, then we got Asteroids 64 Hyper. Midway's Greatest Arcade Hits Volume 1. through another layer of bubble wrap and we've got Mike Piazza strike zone nuclear strike 64 Mia Hamm soccer 64 NBA Court Side 2 featuring Kobe Bryant. Polaris Snowcross. NFL Blitz 2000. WWF Attitude. Bassmasters 2000. Starshot Space Circus Fever. Penny Racers.
We got more, folks. But we've got a lot more. Scars. Extreme G. Razor Freestyle Scooter. In the Zone, NBA In the Zone 2000. Fighter Destiny 2. Big Mountain 2000. Turok 3, Shadow of Oblivion. Robotron 64. Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2. Bust a Move 99. Dual Heroes. Rocket Robot on Wheels. Fox Sports College Hoops 99. The New Tetris. And, <clears throat> wow. Goemon's Great Adventure. That's fantastic. Uh, Adam, wow, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 games you just knocked off of my N64 list. I cannot thank you enough. You are... Uh, you have gone above and beyond such a stellar gentleman. I don't even know how to, to say thank you, uh, except thank you. Thank you so very much. And um, I will get in touch with you and let you know that I received everything. And folks, on to the next. Okay, YouTube. So as many of you know, I recently got my Turbo Express uh, completely refurbished. And... A few days ago, one of my Instagram followers, I have a lot of people that will just send me pictures of stuff that they find at Goodwill or yard sales or whatnot. And this particular follower, he's actually in my area code, but he lives a couple hours away, found this at Goodwill. And uh, I told him I was interested in it. And I sent him pictures of stuff that I had for trade and he wasn't really interested in it until he saw my recent video um, from last Sunday and saw that I picked up Jump Force on the Xbox One. So he was like, hey, I'll trade you this for Jump Force. Done. He says, thank you for the trade. Hopefully it's one of many you did, you, Hopefully it's one of many you did to your collection, or you add to your collection. If you ever need anything at all, always feel free to hit me up. Have an awesome day, Shane. Shane, I really appreciate this trade. Now, he's happy, I'm happy. I'm happy because I get to add something I never find in the wild to my collection. He's happy because he's just gonna end up reselling what, uh, what I traded to him. Um, but, what I'm happy about is what I traded to him was an Xbox One game, which will come down in value. It will lose its value. This will hold its value. And what we have here is Dungeon Explorer on the Turbo Graphics, and it is complete. Manual, it's got a little tab to hold the card in. It's got a plastic sleeve. This thing is in really, really nice condition. And so I'm very, very happy to finally add a complete Turbo Graphics game to the collection. Thank you so much, Shane. I really appreciate it. And folks, on to the next. Super Nintendo, I don't know. I have to go through everything. Okay. That's just what I found so far. Y'all cleaning out a house or something? Well, it's like a storage unit that we have. Okay, yeah. And it's a lot of stuff that we've had over the years that we just right. haven't went through.
I do, and uh, there's a lot of stuff here that I don't have. I think that's more. To, that's to convert it, right? Like that's the game from genie, a, yeah. From for, NES to a, no, that's the game genie for Super Nintendo games. You can oh. you can pop a game in there and then put that whole cartridge in your Super Nintendo. Oh, okay. And it'll give you like cheat codes to huh. to do different stuff. That's neat. Yeah. And then this is the thing to the gun. Yeah, the, yeah. And then this is the piece of that one, the thing to clean it with. Okay, yeah. Like I said most of it I've never done anything with. It's just been sitting in Cool, and you, you said you want a 40 for it? Yeah. Okay, there you yeah. go. There's 40 and uh. Okay, YouTube, got a package in today. This comes from Mr. Mike from Texas. This was a trade him and I worked out. And let's get on into it. Today is Friday. All right. And uh, let's see if we got a note. Yep, we got a note that says Taddy Collector. Happy game hunting. Anashi, maybe is his name, his, his screen name on YouTube or something. All right. So, first game we got, he's got them in these FedEx mailers here, is War Gods. That's a N64 game I did not have. Actually, all of these are N64 games going into the collection. So, we had 38 editions from the big package earlier this week. And now we got five more, so 43 N64 games added to the collection this week. That's insane. All right, next one we have Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub-Zero. Very nice. Very nice condition on that one. And then... The next one is Gex 3. Very nice. Very nice. And then we have Rampage World Tour. Good condition on that one. And the last one. Now I'm surprised it has taken me this long to find this game. This is just one of those games you think would be, you know. <laughs> this is just, he left another note on this game. I can't read it on YouTube. But you'd think I would have found this one. Um, and he, <laughs> The note is concerning this, uh, what, what appears to be nail polish. But I can get that off. It is Paper Mario. That's a game I have not been able to find. You'd be surprised. Uh, it's not in the best condition, but I can clean it up. But, uh, Mike from Texas, I appreciate the trade. Thank you so very much for sending those out. And folks, on to the next.
Okay, YouTube, so three packages and one pickup. That's all I got this week. But still turned out pretty, pretty daggone good. 43 N64 games added to the collection. 38 of those were donated to the collection by an awesome viewer. His name is Adam. Adam, if you're watching, I could not be more appreciative. Uh, another five ended up being a trade. And another trade was for a complete copy of Dungeon Explorer. And then the pickup consisted of the manuals in the back, along with the poster there. Uh, Game Genie for the Super Nintendo, a cleaning kit, a zapper, uh, the sensor for the Super Scope, and then these Super Nintendo games. We got Clue, F-Zero, and Super Scope 6. Those are going into the collection, those three. Super Mario World, Street Fighter 2, NCAA Basketball, and there was Zelda A Link to the Past. That has already sold. Um, those three right there are for sale. Everything else is going into the collection. So I'm very, very happy. Um, very excited to add all of these titles. That puts me to less than 60 carts needed to complete the U.S. release uh, set for the N64. Not including the, uh, the color cartridge variants. Um, there's nine cartridge variants that I'll still need on top of that. Uh, but just to have one of every game, less than 60. But there you have it, folks. Not a long video at all, but I'm definitely adding in a lot of really nice quality stuff here. Goemon's Great Adventure probably being the the heavy hitter out of all of the games. My game goes between, I'd say, 55 60 bucks. Uh, Paper Mario also being a really, really nice one. But most of these are like $20 games, um, $10 to $15 games on some of these. Some of these over here are, you know, less than $10, but still carts I needed for the collection. And, um, but there you have it. You've already seen everything, so nothing new added in. Uh, nothing new to the recap uh, with footage that you did not see. There you have it, folks. I hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon. When you hit the bell icon, you receive notifications every single time I upload new content. Hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Taddy Collector, and have a good one.